Breaking the Wall of Microfluidics Automation, Ahmed Al-Baghdadi, Falling Walls Lab, Jordan. Did you know that PCR actually stands for pipette, cry, and repeat? Mainly because it's very time consuming and can be complicated to perform, just like many diagnostics methods. But when we look at diagnostics methods, we want to make them faster and cheaper. And to do that, we have to take two things into perspective. The cost of the reagents that we use and the lab equipments and the lab devices that we use. One thing to do to solve these issues is to use what's called the maxudic chip, where we pump small amount of liquids into very small channels and perform biochemical reactions much more quickly and with less amount of volume and minimum con contamination. But the problem with those systems is that they are very hard to automate because they require a complex pumping system, which can be very expensive. So this one is the thing that I won't be needing. Another option to do is that we should try something called the macrofluidic disk, where we control the movement of fluids inside these chambers simply by controlling the rotational speed of the disk. So automating such systems is very easy because we simply control the rotation speed of a disk. However, such systems also have their own problem. Because they rotate, it is very hard to perform live monitoring and get the real-time data out of such processes. But I won't be throwing this because it will probably break the floor, not the wall. Therefore, I designed a new generation of microfluidic devices so that we integrate a one degree of freedom robotic arm to act as a helping hand with the microfluidic desk. So they can coordinate their movement and reach every point on the desk, just like a hard disk drive would do. You can see this animation. So they all work independently and in coherence. It can also follow a path on the microfluidic desk. In fact, we can put many sensors and actuators on the tip of this robotic arm so we can perform tasks like liquid dosing, calorimetric detection, valve actuation, thermal cycling, and magnetic particle separation. With this in mind, this device can have a huge impact on expediting the processing time of tests like PCR and ELISA, and it will save valuable lab technicians' time to, and minimize the contamination. And thirdly, it will push the health quality of developing countries as the cost of such microfluidic devices it's very simple. But most importantly, we want to change PCR from pipettes, cry, and repeat into perform, relax, and chill. Thank you.